Obuasi town in the western region of Ghana was once a hive of activity. Known as the Golden City of Ghana, Obuasi has been reduced to a former shadow of itself. The gold rush that once existed is no more. Africa's top gold producer Angle Gold Ashanti closed shop two years ago and with it went jobs, the economy suffered and the ripple effects still echo to date. This town is becoming a ghost town yeah. and everything has come down. So it's up to the government for us to sit down with Angle Ashanti to make sure that they bring this company back. Otherwise, there is no way that we can survive in this town. Over reliance on commodities exports by African economies has seen growth in oil producing countries fall to an average of 2.9% last year from 5.4% in 2014. Ghana's experience illustrates the problem. Back in Obuasi, the residents tried to eke out a living and by doing so, illegal mining has gained root. The miners earn up to $2,600 on a good month. Despite the dangers associated with it, they are willing to gamble with their lives. We don't want anything. We just want to mine gold. We don't intend to destroy anything. It's because we are hungry. That's why we do this work to enable us to get our daily bread. And there is nothing that worries us over here. Anglo Gold Ashanti blames the government for failing to keep illegal miners away, but Ghana's government maintains that it is committed to protect all investments and citizens. With all stakeholders working together to ensure a conducive environment and a conducive atmosphere for businesses to operate, this mine could get back on its feet or can get back on its feet and provide support to uh, the, the community and to the government uh, in a more sustainable way. The small-scale artisanal miners say they have nowhere to go, even as their exploits continue to halt commercial mining and deter potential investment.